What's up guys, it's your boy Cody from Sonic Electronics. Today we're gonna to be looking at line output converters, often referred to as an LOC. So an LOC has one function or one main function, which is taking a high level or a speaker level output and converting that into a low level or an RCA output to be sent elsewhere to your amplifier. And uh, you might be wondering like, well Cody, why would I ever wanna do that? Why, why do I care where or how I'm sending the signal? Well. Your factory head unit oftentimes won't come uh, equipped with the low level outputs that you would need to send that signal to an amplifier. They'll often just come with your, your speaker level outputs, which you can then take with these and convert to a low level output and then send out to your amplifier and then send that to your brand new speakers that you picked up off of sonicelectronics.com. So uh, another big reason is a lot of people, they buy these nice new cars and they really like the head units. And I mean, I get it. The, the head units are often well integrated. They're uh, well built, so they look seamless and they fit right in there and often have a lot of cool features that you'd want to keep or you just don't want to run the risk of maybe putting in an aftermarket stereo and it's just not quite looking right or, or having to spend and dish out all that extra money for an aftermarket car stereo when all you really want is a little bit better sound in your vehicle. So an LOC is what's gonna be able to kind of bridge that gap between buying a brand new radio and keeping that factory unit that has all those features that you already love and that you're already used to. So it's basically two types of LOCs out there. There's your active and your passive LOCs. Passive LOCs will often be a little cheaper but come with far fewer features. So this one on the right here is your basic run of the mill two channel. Uh, passive LOC comes with your two channel high level or speaker level uh, inputs and then your low level or RCA outputs, as well as some uh, signal adjustment on the side. Uh, this is gonna be really good for if you're just looking to maybe pop like a, a subwoofer in the back of your car and just need something to get that signal converted. While in the middle here, we have kind of a step up. It's still a passive LOC, but it's a four channel passive LOC with your four signal adjustments, as well as this one coming with a 12 volt power and ground. So the 12 volt power and ground is not required for it to work but it does, however, provide a low voltage trigger, which is used to uh, trigger a remote, remote turn on on your amplifier. So your passive LOCs are gonna be really useful for factory non-amplified systems. Uh, a factory amplified system is gonna produce uh, probably too much power for a passive LOC. So you don't wanna use that as it may produce more heat and cause damage to either the LOC or other um, items in your system. So for active LOCs, that's where you're gonna be looking for those factory amplified systems. They will require a 12 volt power and ground, but with that, you're gonna uh, get your remote turn on as you did with the X-Flock 4 here, but it also is gonna allow you to handle those higher voltages from factory amplified systems, as well as giving you some base restoration. Uh, so your factory head units oftentimes is gonna roll off that base uh, to try to protect your factory speakers whenever you crank that volume up. This is gonna be able to restore some of that, bring it back to full and get you a crisper, cleaner sound in which you can send out through your sub or bass level and then your, um, your main outputs here. So main is gonna be a full range channel while the other is strictly your low level, which is really good. Some uh, higher end LOCs will even come equipped with equalizers. So they, they almost serve as line output conversion as a secondary function and a uh, equalizer as a primary function, which is gonna be really useful um, you may be wondering, Cody, why would I not just buy an amp like this? Ta-da, there was an amp behind that the whole time, bet you didn't know. But you may be trying to buy an amp like this where it just has the high level inputs. Well, first of all, not many amps are gonna come with it or not as many amps are gonna have that. And secondly, you may be missing out on some of those features that you see with the bass restoration or even some of those higher level ones where it's acting as an EQ independently. So. That's, that's kind of the reason why you might want to go for even using an LOC, even if your amplifier does have line output or line inputs, line level inputs, if we can get that right today, uh, as opposed to just hooking those up, you might want to use the LOC and get some of those extra features. So that's kind of it for um, active versus passive LOCs. Uh, as always, uh, every system is different. Your car may be amplified, may, may not be amplified. Be sure to do your research, figure out uh, what voltage that your system's putting out and what, what kind of LOC is good for you. Uh, as always, we'll have the information on these products, not this one as it's a prototype and we'll probably never bring it in because it wasn't very good. But we do have some cool NVX amps coming here soon, which are gonna be pretty crazy. So keep an eye out for that video. You can check out these products in the description below to get the specs and some other information as well as a blog post about how to install an LOC 
Uh, we're really trying to make some more creative content and really get that out and get some stuff that you guys will really enjoy. So be sure to leave a comment below on what kind of content you want to see coming out of Sonic. And as always, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll see you in the next one.